What's up, Scoops? Hey guys, this is Changu on My Life After Breakfast. Today I'd like to talk to you about my current weight loss journey. I've been talking about it a little on Hipster Chicken. If you don't know what Hipster Chicken is, Hipster Chicken is a collab channel that I'm part of. I'm Wednesday. Check us out this week. I've mentioned the fact that I'm working on losing weight on Hipster Chicken, but I've not mentioned it on this channel, and I promised you guys I would. So here goes. End of March of this year, I was trying to put on pants that I've worn for literally several, several years, and they just would not zip up. And I was like, that's it, I'm done with this whole, you know, gaining weight thing and doing nothing about it. I'm working out hardcore and I did half of Beachbody's like roster. I bought Insanity and Turbo Fire. If you don't know what Turbo Fire is, take every single cardio class you've ever seen, ever heard of, and like put it on crack. Like that's Turbo Fire. It's absolute intensity, absolutely insanity, but it's not the workout plan of insanity. Insanity is like it's like you're training for track kind of thing, whereas Turbo Fire is like a regular part of your class on, on crack. The first month before I bought those two programs, I lost 15 pounds just on my own, working it really, really hard for like three, four hours a day. I know, like intensity, and eating well, 15, 15 pounds for a month, which is pretty okay. Um, and then the following month, I lost five pounds when I started Turbo Fire, and then nothing for the rest of the month, so I bought Insanity. And then I lost another five pounds, and then nothing. So I've been like just stressing out. And then my mom was told some really bad news about her health and told that she had to lose weight too. So then we started using supplements. My mom heard about green coffee and she got a link. I don't know if you could see it with a light. No, you totally can't. It's just a regular label. It says green coffee on it, calm down. She heard about it on Dr. Oz who's like the weight loss guru now apparently. And she absolutely um, was like, we have to get it. So she ordered it like that day, we, it arrived. And I've been taking it for about a week and I've lost seven pounds this week. Not even a full week, I think I started on Wednesday. And then Wednesday to Saturday, I lost six pounds and I just lost another pound this morning. So this kind of stuff is insane. But I'm also taking other stuff to like, help out my general body as a whole. I'm taking resveratrol. Resveratrol is something that is in red wine. It's found in grapes and then like um, condensed when it's put into red wine. And resveratrol, no, well resveratrol. Resveratrol is basically resveratrol plus other vitamins to help it work better because it works a lot better with other antioxidants around it, which is probably why this combination is doing amazing things for me. Resveratrol helps your body to stay more sensitive to insulin, which helps your body to lose weight and also helps you if you're pre-diabetic, this will reverse it. Because being insensitive to insulin, that's called diabetes. So this makes you sensitive to insulin and reverses that. So I was really happy to see that. I have way too many people in my family who are already diabetic and a lot of people who are pre-diabetic. So this was a really an important product for me to buy. It helps with weight loss. These two together are doing amazing things for my waist. It is helping me to guarantee that I'm not diabetic. So awesome product, Resveratrol Complete. I got it at Walmart for like 10 bucks, it's awesome. And then I'm also taking this, which is like a thyroid health thing because I know a lot of people always say, oh, I've got like a thyroid issue and everyone's like, yeah, sure you do. But it's an actual thing for a lot of people. Like, I don't know if it's a thing for me. I don't actually think it is. What I think the problem is that I'm not actually getting any iodine in my food. I stopped using table salt because they do a lot of things to it to make it like iodized salt. So like everything else that's about that's like good about it is take it out and then you're just getting a whole bunch of water weight on. So rather than having iodized salt in my food and having weight, water weight, I just take basically an iodine pill, which helps my thyroid to continue burning calories, as well as helping to guarantee that I don't get goiters, which is always awesome. So, between those three things and drinking lots of water and working out, I'm losing more this week than I've lost in the last two months combined. So right now I'm at 30 pounds lost. Woohoo! Well, actually 29.5, but still, it's like, let's just call it 30, because <laughs> that's awesome. So I'm at 30 pounds lost, and I'm still working hard at losing more, obviously. I want to get down to, um, like, because I'm going to be, ugh, I don't even want to know if I will. I don't even know who I want to say this right now. But I, okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys because you're my scoops and I love you. But at the end of March this past year when I started this, I was 260 pounds. And I know I don't look it, and a lot of people are like, are you serious? But that's how much this body weighs. I know there's a lot of muscle going on as well, 
but this body weighed past tense 260 pounds so I've lost 30 pounds so I'm currently 230 pounds which is insane to me I always said I would kill myself if I got up to 230 not seriously don't joke about suicide it's not even a funny joke but I always said that I absolutely would hate it if I got up to 230 pounds and I passed out my 30 pounds so I am currently trying to bring that right on down and everyone's always like oh why don't you just you know slow down your eating the thing is I actually don't, I'm not one of the people who has eaten themselves up to a high weight. There's a thing called starvation mode that your brain goes into when you don't eat a lot. The women in my family, me, my mom, my little sister, we actually like followed my mom's lead kind of on this because she's done this for years that all day while you work and you like take care of people or whatever, you pretty much don't eat and then late at night you have one big dinner and then you relax and go to sleep. And because you spend all day not eating, your body thinks that there's a famine going on. So the second you get food, it keeps it all and puts it right on your hips. So the biggest part of this whole weight loss thing has been to get myself to eat more than just once a day, like twice a day it started off with, and then three times. Now I'm up to about five times a day. A really small meals, high in fiber, um, lots of protein, lots of iron, that kind of a thing. But, um, but just getting like all the sugar that I eat coming from fruit rather than like candies because I really like gum. So they've completely left my diet and now I'm just all about fruits and vegetables. So the weight loss and spending all my time doing that is part of the reason why I wasn't here for two and a half months. But I'm definitely back because now I'm working on time management and getting everything in. Because I definitely want to have these chats with you guys as well as um, losing the weight. So if you want to join me on this, I'm not going to like shake Carl 2010 it where I say let's all do this together and then I peace out on it. I'm definitely in this for the long haul. I'm about 15 days away from going on a cruise for my parents anniversary. So I feel like in that time I can lose another 10 pounds maybe. And if I can do that, then this stomach will pretty much be mostly gone. I w just want it mostly gone to hop on a cruise. It doesn't have to be totally gone, just mostly gone. <laughs> so I'm really, really hoping for that. I still want to go about 90 more pounds. I think 140 is a really, really good place for me at 5'4". What do you guys think? Please help me out with some encouragement down below in the comments. You guys are rock out loud and I absolutely love you. And I will see you, I think, on Tuesday for a new video. Please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. You guys rock out loud. I love you so much. My scoops are beautiful. Please check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Tumblr. And you guys, I will see you on Tuesday. Love you. Bye.